Hey everybody, Keep7 Gaming here, back with another Magic the Gathering Arena video. This is a news update, as I'm sure most of you are aware. Uro, Titan of, Titan of Nature's Wrath, has been banned from Standard. Uh, and then there's a one, two, three, four, four and a half paragraph, uh, four and a half paragraph explanation that's all kind of bullshit and boils down to they know that this is probably not enough and they're probably going to wait a few weeks to ban Omnath, but... They're waiting for whatever reason, and I think they just, they were waiting for an excuse to ban Uro because it was too powerful, and they want to hold off from banning Omnath for as long as possible, probably because uh, they want to see how well Zendikar uh, will sell in paper before they ban, you know, a mythic. Uh, they, they <laughs> That's what I'm taking from this, uh, because... Uro was never the problem uh, in the Omnath decks. Uro was plan C to an Omnath Lotus Cobra uh, Escape to the Wilds Genesis Ultimatum plan A. Like, that is the plan A of that deck, is get Omnath down and just double your mana. That ha You have a four foot... I could go on for days. That card is Fires of Invention that can attack and block. It's... Uh, it's Uro built in with the life gain. It draws you a card, like, like on top of everything else, have it draw you a card. But that that is the broken card. Uro, Uro is broken. Uro was a problem, but I don't think it was on the same level. Like, the Omnath decks without Uro are still going to be as overpowering and strong. Like, all you need to do is replace Uro with Landwar Visionary is probably a very suboptimal pick. Scale the Heights, a suboptimal pick. Um, cultivate, all suboptimal picks, but they're still going to do exactly what Uro was doing and, you know, trigger more landfall triggers for Omnath. That's all Uro did in the deck, aside from being a 6-6, six, six, I mean, aside from being a 6-6 six, six body, like, he, it's amazing that he's a 6-6 six, six body, you can come back from the graveyard at any time. That's great, but those decks don't need that. You know, they're still going to be immensely oppressive, even with Lanoir Visionary, Cultivate, Scale the Heights, you know, whatever other card you want to put in that spot to replace Uro. You can even put in more fucking Beanstalk Giants. And Beanstalk Giant with Terror of the Peaks is is a win con. So, you know, it's those decks, you're, you're not, like, I feel like what Wizards thought they were doing or the excuse that they're trying to give is they're trying to cut those decks off at the legs, and they're not. They're, they 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 punched it in the shins and it said ow and now it's moving on. That's all you did to the deck. To the deck. You haven't hurt them at all. I think it's still going to be inc incredibly oppressive. Uh, and you know, I think they, they mentioned they even mentioned they have a plug at the very end about the season grand finals, the 2020 season grand finals. If Omnath isn't gone by the time those grand finals hit, I think our grand finals are going to be all Omnath decks, and I think after that point they'll finally decide to ban him. When, you know, when watching, I mean, if you saw the Star City Games tournament over the weekend, it was, it what, 18 out of the 20 decks, uh, of the top 20 decks were all four-color Omnath? Like, if that's the standard that we have to look forward to, to watch in the season grand finals, fuck that. Who's going to watch that? That's going to be boring. That's going to be 30 minutes of each player, after they get their Lotus Cobras down, of just, like, spamming random bullshit to get as many lands onto the battlefield as possible and chain together some ridiculous combination that, that you know, coincides with Uro. Like there's, it's just going to be, it's going to be awful. It is awful. Playing standard right now is awful. Um, it's really fucking boring. Uh, and there's only one way to win and you play Omnath. Otherwise, what the fuck are you doing? There's no point. Uh, every deck just pales in comparison. Um, yeah. So this sucks. This isn't enough. Um, but Hey, you know, you have Uro, he's still playable in Historic, so, you know, that's four Mythic Wild cards you can now spend on Omnath. Uh, so congrats. Uh, this was, this was a huge fuck up, and, um, <laughs> yeah, this was a fuck up. So, good job. You gotta, you gotta fix it, though. You gotta do more. So, yeah, that's the update. Uh, you can go out and read this if you want to, and I could read it now, but I, I don't, I mean, I could just sum it up, um... Yeah, Omnath, Omnath decks are oppressive, so we're going to punch the deck in the shins, and it's going to move on and continue to be dominant and oppressive. We usually don't do it this early, and we, we usually, you know, we try to be proactive about bans, but we're not going to be proactive here because we want to make money. That's what this all reads. Uh, and then you have the Grand Tour finals, you know, plug, 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 shameless plug. We want more money, and we're going to sell cards, and then when it becomes a problem for everybody, but we've made our money, then we'll make a change. 
Um, so too little, too late. So yeah, that's 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 what this fucking diarrhea post is all about. This is just verbal diarrhea all over the screen telling you that we're going to take your money, you're going to be upset for a while, but you're going to suck it up because you love the game, and then, and then, we'll, and then we'll do what you want. Once we've got your money, then, then we'll move on. Um, yeah, so, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, everybody. Four more weeks! 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 Four more weeks!